All right, this is going to be the dinner today. It's going to be yellowtail. It's a nice size too. I already cleaned the guts out. They're so soft. Look at that. They're awesome fish to eat. Finally, I'm not cleaning the fish on the floor like I always do. I did pretty good fishing today. I got, I believe, five of this. And I lost a lot of big fish. Like always. It looks like I don't have the proper equipment. Beautiful creature. Such a beautiful creature. All right, now I'm gonna cut the head. I'm not gonna eat the head. I'm gonna use my trusty diving knife. Check out how quick the shark comes up. Any other animal that wants to eat it. Right, I'm gonna cut the tail because you're not gonna eat the tail. So that way it fits better in the pan. This is more than enough for one person because the yellow tail has a lot of meat. All right, now I'm going to get some uh, tropical sazon and I'm going to sazon it. The lethal shark came up. That's a dangerous one. All right, so now I'm gonna put it in the fridge. I'm gonna we'll put it in the fridge here somewhere. There we go. fit perfect in there now I'm gonna clean up this mess here and I'm gonna take a shower so I can start cooking it a little bit oh well, there goes the lethal shark right there see that's a real shark that one right there see the way he moves he moves like he doesn't even care there it is that's a lethal shark right there. You can tell by the way he's moving. Look at him. There he is. That's a lethal shark. Uh oh. I just started something. I started their appetite. We got two lethal sharks, small ones. 
but they come for the smell of the fish. See, you shouldn't show them the water here when there's people swimming. The reason I do that now is because there's nobody here. But if you show them these waters while there's people here, I don't think that's polite to other people. Could lose a finger or two. There he goes. There they are, look. They're mad. Look at them. They're just real mad. There he is. Look at how quick he moves. I have seen big sharks here. Are like almost a five footer. I think five feet is big enough. I was swimming over there and he was swimming there too. And that was not polite. He scared me. Cause he's behind me. Right around that area. But they can swim here anywhere. I mean, this is their territory. Honeymoon Harbor is not our territory. That's, this is their territory. Man, he swims fast. Well, I have never heard about anybody getting bit here in Honeymoon Harbor. Um, but at Great Isaac and West End, the sharks there are the bull sharks. They're very, very, very active. That's why I don't get in the water over there too much, especially by myself. Over here also in the marinas where people discard their guts of fish. Bull sharks, they, they live on that area because of that. If you keep feeding them, they'll come and eat it. All right, enough of the uh, romantic talk about sharks. Look how beautiful the lighthouse over there. So see, this is where the Crooked Pilot House belongs. It belongs in these beautiful waters. Florida water can't compare to this. This amazing colors of beautiful water is just incredible. Yep, definitely love it. Now COVID-19 has messed everything up. If people can come here as easy as they used to, COVID-19 screwed everything up. It, you know, sadly it killed a lot of people too. But it really messed up the travel industry uh, as far as coming here to the Bahamas. But I got great news. Uh, I just reached 20,000 subscribers yesterday. So that is awesome. It was yesterday night when I was here, I believe. Reached 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for being part of the channel, for supporting it, and helping me arrive here. You guys are awesome. What I love about coming here is catching my fish, my lobsters, conch, whatever it is, and just preparing it, eating it fresh here. Um, that's what makes my trip. So now with the Minn Kota, I was able to do a lot better on fishing because I was spot locked right on top of the, uh, the reef, the edge. And if I wasn't on the edge, I can move five feet this way and five foot the other way. So I was always precise on that. So I really like that. And I didn't have to release no anchors. That is, it's incredible. I love the Minn Kota. See, he's resting right there. He worked hard today. We're gonna give him some rest. We're gonna charge those batteries. If weather is good, I may go to the Sapona. I might go fishing. Um, there's also a plane wreck way over there. All right, today, I'm gonna have this fish and, and we're also gonna have two plantains. All right, so I'm gonna make these two plantains and this fried fish gonna be a good meal I'm gonna fry the plantain once then fry the fish and then dump the plantains again uh, because the fish is gonna take a long time Cut it like this, be careful you don't cut yourself. The knife away from your body. Wait a minute. 
Yeah, you want to go the other way. You don't want to go this way. Away from your body. So take a slip and stop yourself with it. Instead of putting the knife towards your body. Plantains are awesome because um, they they can fill you up. They're really good. They're tasty, nutritious. They fill you up. And if you're on a boat, you can have uh, some plantains and keep them in the cooler or the freezer and they'll last a long time. Green like this. Now, there's always people saying, you, you know, superstitious. I know there's some people superstitious about having plantains. But I've always had plantains on my boat. Always. And you have better control because you know how much you have squished it. See? Beautiful. A lot of my viewers that never tried this, they went and bought some and made them themselves. And they loved it. You know who you are. All right, now I'm gonna put the fish in. The fish got a little stuck to the uh, to the pan, but it's okay. It's no big deal. It's just the skin. Now, and for today, a little bit of house wine. All right, looks good. Awesome. Start eating. Look at that me. Yellow tail has a distinct flavor. I'm gonna have to move the boat because the wind is coming this way, and on the other side, there's no um, there's no wind. Definitely on the other side, it's going to be a lot more calmer than this because the wind is going to int intensify today. You got to get there before sundown so I can see where the sand is. As you can see towards this side it's a lot more calmer I just said the autopilot to take me there and I'll start eating here Much better here. is moving 
but over there was moving a lot more than this. These swells are coming from the uh, Atlantic side here. And the wind is going to get stronger as the night goes. It's going to get stronger. Right now it's like 6 miles per hour wind. It's going to get to probably like 14. So there's going to be a lot of wind coming from this side. And this here is going to protect me uh, from those swells. So hopefully this is a better choice. If it's not, then I will have to move at night. But I don't think so. We just got big swells coming through here. The boat is rocking softly, not as hard. So I think it's going to be all right. This is about 15 feet deep here. Oh, that sailboat is really going to enjoy that area there. Because as soon as I left, he came in. Got the generator running because I have to charge the Minn Kota, uh, battery of the fridge, and I got to start making some ice. But I won't be running the air conditioner because I don't need it. It is probably like 70 degrees out. Feels a lot better here. Way better. Now, if any of you girls and guys wants to uh, stay on a boat, this may get you sick. This constant moving of the boat. All right, more ice is being made. I need to make a lot of ice uh, for tomorrow. Every day I gotta make at least a couple of pounds of ice to replenish the ice that is melting. So yeah, I'm charging right now the Minn Kota batteries and they take probably about six to eight hours to fully charge. So I'm gonna be running the generator, making ice and charging the Minn Kota in uh, the fridge all those three things and all my small electronics so that way they'll be charged uh, for tomorrow today was okay fishing day no that shark the big shark the four to five foot shark uh, that one really got me working today i'm gonna have to take a nap bill tonight maybe even two but tomorrow's another day. Here's about 15 feet. I cannot see it on the camera, but it's lighting up more than this area that you see there on the camera. It's 7.30, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch a movie tonight. And, cause I'm not gonna sleep that early. I got the air conditioner running because I don't know somehow even though it's a little cool outside it feels muggy definitely have to turn the air conditioner on all right so this is how I watch a movie with the surround sound all right so this is the way I watch a movie um, I'll connect the surround sound right here so I that I can raise the volume however I want and then what I do is if I'm watching the movie right here through my bed, what I do is I tilt the tablet down. 
I can see the movie from way down here. And also that tablet holder is what I put here sometimes if I'm gonna watch TV while I'm not driving the boat. Right now it's about 3.20 and I could not sleep. There's so much movement on the boat and I corrected it by making a bridle. You can see the rope is kind of tilted and there's another rope right there. And it has improved a lot. Over 50% has improved. See how the swells are coming? straight to the boat now. I don't know if you can see that rope there. Right to the side of the boat there. So I made a bridle uh, with both of the um, rope. The anchor rope was like this and the boat was going like this. So by putting the bridle there attached to the side of the boat, now the boat is hitting the waves straight forward and it's not rolling because I could not sleep. It was driving me crazy. I haven't slipped, not even a drop. Now it's a lot more comfortable. You can feel it a lot more comfortable in here. I'm gonna try to get some sleep now. And look what I did. Since it was so rolling, I put the bed on the floor because uh, I could not sleep up there in the bed. In the front it was too much movement there side to side now it's a lot more comfortable so hopefully i can get a little bit of sleep now all right i will continue this trip on the next video thank you for watching i'm going to get some sleep now always navigate safe and if you like this video please love it up